30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Be Strong in the Lord, Part 3, The Body Armor of God's Righteousness. This week we're revisiting a series of devotions from 2016 entitled, Faithful Warriors. It's not something we do often, but this series bears repeating during times of crisis. Ephesians 6, verse 14, the last part of it, and the body armor of God's righteousness. In a Sermon on the Mount of Olives, Jesus said that we would be blessed, we would be happy to hunger and thirst after righteousness. He said we should seek the righteousness of the kingdom of God first and worry about material things later. Well, what is this righteousness we're supposed to seek? It's certainly not self-righteousness, that even sounds bad. The word righteous comes from a basic verb which means to show. In a religious sense or an application, it means to stand before God with your heart open and on display. There's nothing hidden. Your heart is on display so God can inspect you. Is that a comfortable idea? Each of us has at least a few things in our life that if it were known by our neighbors or friends or family, especially our church family, we would die of shame. How do I know that? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have a human heart. God knows that the flesh lives inside us all. And when we stand before him, there's nothing hidden at all. Most of us know this to be true from experience, and the rest of us could guess from sheer human intuition that it's not a wonderful prospect to stand before a righteous and holy God without some super asbestos holy shield to protect us from a blast of judgment from the throne. The breastplate, or body armor, covers the vitals, the heart. Having a breastplate of righteousness can only happen when your heart has been cleansed, when you've been forgiven of sin and made to stand righteous, openly on show for God. David prayed this way, Psalm 139, Search me, O God, know my heart, test me, know my anxious thoughts, point out anything in me that offends you. When it's like that, beloved, Satan's darts are way out of range. A fellow Christian once accused me of being uncaring and cold towards him and his family. He then widened it to include the whole church, and probably the whole of Western civilization. I told him that I believed he was misunderstanding me, but that I would pray for God to help me understand. And I did go to prayer, and while God affirmed to my heart that I really did care for and love this brother in Christ and his family, there were some things, some other things in that area that needed my attention, perhaps like showing that love better. When I shared this with a brother, I could stand with the breastplate of righteousness. I had stood honestly before God, and therefore Satan could not use this rift of understanding to break that church apart. He does try to do that, you know. Let's pray together. Father, we're at a time, a particularly difficult time, when the whole church could stand to stand open before you. We think we have it right, and most of the time we've hardly begun to get it right. Keep us centered in humility. That will save us from being yanked back to reality when common sense kicks in. For you today, put on God's holy armor, the breastplate of righteousness. Have a clean heart before God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky route.